My name's Mary Portis, and for the last few years, I've helped small independent retailers. But now, I'm taking on the high street, and this time, I'm working for you. We've seen queues at the cash desk, staff that ignore us, enough is enough. I'm tackling some of Britain's most complained about customer service culprits. West Face has actually become the new South Facing. I'll show you how to demand better. You have to complain and not get ripped off. There's only two little words missing, up to 50%. Last week, I tackled value fashion on the high street. What about the we customer? We could take more money. What about the service? Tonight, I'm taking on the masters of hard sell, the sofa superstores. Lowest price. Honest. They try and get you to buy everything and anything. I would not advise that size sofa. You don't like that in there with the dog. In all my years in retail, I've never seen service as bad as this. It is totally inappropriate. I want to get you the service you deserve. You don't do that. Yes, yeah? we do. You don't. Yes, we do. No, you don't. And when you see how slick they are, no, they don't need me, but the customer does. It can cost thousands of pounds and takes pride of place in your home. But when it comes to shopping for sofas, I think the big chains are letting you down. You've had enough of those retailers that will tell you anything just to make the sale and make their commission. And one of the things you hate most is the hard sell tactics. They're not listening to what we want, what I want, <laughs> more importantly. And I often find when I'm in furniture shops, that these salesmen literally follow me around the shops trying to push whatever's in the sale. Where they pounce on you and they, they want to sell you credit. Don't like the hard sell. Don't like to feel pressured. It makes you feel like you don't want to buy from there. To find out just how bad it's got, I'm going to visit some of the biggest chains. Reporters. Oh, Posing as a real shopper, I'll be secretly filming everything. Just look at this. I'm, actually, I feel like I'm going to prison. This is me buying furniture for my home. How gloomy, just even starting from outside. SCS has 97 stores across the UK. For the amount I could spend here, I expect good service. This is At the very least, I want practical advice. So I tell the salesman I'm buying for my teenage son's university digs. Am I mad getting a cream sofa for a bunch of guys who are going to be on a Friday night with beers and coffee? <laughs> what do you think? I don't think it'd be that bad. It was totally inappropriate. Look at this. I wouldn't even be able to keep this clean on my own. It seems to me that this salesman's more interested in his commission than what's best for me. I'm seeing you paying cash, aren't you? What if I can get you a bit of a discount as well? Get some money knocked off. Can you? What's it, what it does for me in place and order with now? What, like, before you close? Yeah. Well, now, basically. Uh, what I'll do, I'll work it out and I'll get my boss to, to work some figures out, OK? To ensure I part with my cash, the manager comes to close the deal. If you want to do it now, and leave me a deposit, I'll do it all in 895. How much? 895. If I come in tomorrow, can we sort it? I'll do that to Well, tomorrow. that would be for tonight, because it's been a quiet night. That's classic hard sell, accompanied by poor advice. Next up, CSL, the UK's fastest growing sofa chain. I don't know where to start. Again, the salesman seems happy to flog me something unsuitable. Hey, what about that with the cats, though? Is that leather with cats? They scratch that, don't they? To be honest with you, animals, they tend to stay away from leather. Don't they? Yeah, they seem to do. Cats normally avoid leather. New one on me. With 160 stores, Harvey's is the UK's biggest chain. I'm amazed by offers that seem too good to be true. What a celebration. Look at that. 50% off everything, but then take 30% off when you buy two or more items for this range. Over a 50% off everything sticker. And when it looks too good to be true, it is. There's only two little words missing. 
Oh, nearly. Up to 50%. Up to 50%. Oh. The wholesale as a whole, prices can go up to 50%. Okay. How confusing is that? It's confusing for me too. Yeah, but you're not the customer. So far, I've had disappointing service, but it's about to get much worse. Five on this one's one three five. At three of the chains, I felt I was encouraged to buy fabric protection insurance and to lie if I wanted my claim to be accepted. But you are covered for pets. Yeah, but if your pet chews it, you've got one cover against it. If they rip it, I would just say it was me anyway. OK. Perfectly honest. Every week, if you drop a stain on it, it's yeah, covered. Yeah, quite clean, yeah. Even if he's been negligent, like a big bit of a twit drink, shall we? Oh, it's got to say, perhaps. I told you. You know, if you don't find the coat mark until oh, yeah. next week... So you pick the phone up and you say, yesterday... <laughs> Um, we spilled some coke on it and we've tried cleaning it and it's left a mark. Right, we'll send somebody out and they'll sort it on site. Each time it sounded to me like I was being encouraged to lie, but if I did, it would be insurance fraud. I can't believe what I've just seen. They are encouraging customers to commit a criminal act. I think this is one of the worst retail industries I've worked on. Some of the big players need to overhaul their customer service. I know how to do it, but only one company has the balls to let me in. Northern Giant CSL has 16 stores around the UK, which last year took 72 million. Owner, 37-year-old Jason Tilsley, isn't stopping there. I live and breathe this business. It's my world, it's my passion. I want to be the best retailer. I think, you know, within a very short period, we'll, we'll be fully national, we'll have iconic stores, and people will see us as a household name. Got to move away from brown. It's interesting, this, because I'm going to hit on a colour that doesn't exist. Most of my competition, they've all got this common thread of, of trying to sell harder, trying to discount harder, telling you that the sale ends Sunday constantly. That's not the CSL way. To test out Jason's customer service, me and my team went undercover in four of his stores. I found the empty price promise. If you can find this same model anywhere else, cheaper, we'll give you the difference plus 10%. Could we find this in the shop somewhere else then, this one? Not as far as I know. The misleading sale promotions. When you say 50% off your latest range, I didn't see that. It's not 50% off that price. The price has already been done for. Oh. So they're the prices that you see, basically. Oh. And a well-rehearsed sales spiel. We pride ourselves on best products, best possible price, best service. That's what we're all about. Jason makes extremely good claims on his customer service, saying that it's brilliant. Well, we're going to be showing him this undercover stuff and see how he responds to it. If there's something that comes out of this that is that is a gem, then it's worth doing it. And I'm hoping to get some free advice. I hope we get on like a house on fire. Hi. Nice to see you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Hi. Welcome. Oh, look Come at you, through. denim on denim. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's sorry. Like you should be running a hair salon, let alone the <laughs> furniture sales, don't you? Oh. Thank you so much. Oh. Come on in. <laughs> oh, Jason, I've gone into the future. One black shirt, minimalist. Yeah, yeah. So. So. CSL, T talk to me about CSL. This business is totally about customer experience. I, I try to think what I would want as a customer, and then I tailor the experience to match what I would want. It's interesting. Most retailers talk about their products and then how they sell their products. Yeah. Well, that's just it. We don't sell it. We allow the customer to buy it. Jason is saying all the right things. Right, here we go. But it's at odds with his slick sales approach. Is this your first, is it? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's brilliant. Well, let me give you some useful information, then I'll leave you to have a good look round everywhere. Is it your first visit to our store? Yeah. Right, can I just give you a little bit of info, then I'll leave you to have a good look round. We don't like to jump on you. Uh, basically, everything's priced individually, so you can order whatever combination of furniture is going to suit your room. So everything is priced individual, you can order whatever combination suits your room. This felt very much like, here's a script, it could have been a theme park, right. What you've got to do when you come in is belt up, can you make sure your mobile phone's turned off, can you make sure the safety's first, if you've got any laces under, and you actually want to... That's how I felt, I was just being bombarded with information. Do you know how hard it is to achieve 
consistency of that no. of that level. No, I'll tell you something. You have got an incredible bunch of robots. Well done. They, they're, they're not though. They're not though. <laughs> once, once you get into the sale and and you get past that that little introduction, and it is an introduction. It's an introduction to the store, and it's a useful one. Actually, in terms of not letting you down, they haven't let you down. That's no, what you've asked them to do, and they are there. I'm doing. really pleased with it. Yeah. <laughs> but what happens when Jason's lads are taken off script? Because our flat is quite modern. Yeah. Um, so I didn't know whether what whether there'd be something that'd be quite good for that. Yeah. Just trying to think off the top of my head. I mean, is it like a leather or fabric that you're thinking of? Uh, we don't. Again, yeah. we don't mind. Whatever suit best suits the, yeah. the kind so of know, modern flat. Really. Yes, yes. I don't think I know what you mean. More like a modern kind of look. He isn't scripted at this point. No, he's gone off script, that's why he's having a heart failure. Modern, flat, ooh, ooh, leather, fabric, fabric, leather, leather, fabric, <laughs> fabric, leather. That's the words I know, and I know technical words. I don't know about lifestyles. I think CSL is a cut above the rest, but I want to show him how to deliver better customer service and still make profits. I might find that the challenge of me integrating a more sensitive customer approach with your sales team might never mix this could be oil and water but i actually genuinely think it could so which store am i going to go to rotherham i think the store is beautiful the team's beautiful you'll really enjoy yourself right well, i look forward to it nice meeting you Very all right welcome. thank you so much take care he's hearing me let's see when i start to put things into practice how much he'll be supportive I want him to really put his money where his mouth is. He says he puts the customer first, so show me. I'm Mary Portas. I'm on a mission to improve Britain's lousy customer service. Tonight, I'm taking on the underhand sales tactics used by some of the leading sofa chains. You know, all that honest guff, believe me, kind of attitude to some of the oldest retail tricks in the book. And I think it's time for a change. Of six leading sofa superstores I approached, fast-growing northern chain CSL has taken up the challenge to transform customer service and shake up the whole industry. The thing that really disrupts me about the furniture stores is going in and all you can see above every sofa is a big red sale sign. They've never really got a big ever sale. It's just the same old, same old all the time. I don't accept the fact that sales are really sales. It's a gimmick. I went undercover filming at Harvey's, the UK's biggest sofa retailer, and I found misleading promotions. So this is take 40% off. If you just buy one piece, there's no discount at all. If you buy more than one item, they all go at 40%. At SCS, which has 97 stores, the salesman made some unlikely sounding price claims. I know for a fact that this three seat is going to be fine by now in the general sales. In the January sale, it'll be under pound more. <laughs> How can that work? In Furniture Village, their promise to match a lower price isn't always what it seems. It'll be the identical thing, yeah. It has to be and identical. It won't be internet, yeah. But so, would we find that anywhere else? Only in Furniture Village, exactly the same, yeah. Oh, so it's no, so your price match promise isn't much up to much then, is it? It's the same as everybody's price match promise. Here's what to do if you feel you're not getting the service you deserve. These salesmen work on commission, so you have the power. Negotiate and demand a discount if you think that's relevant. And if you see sales signs that mislead you on price, report it to your local office of fair trading. At CSL Rotherham, I want them to stand out from the crowd by making big changes to their customer service. Hi, welcome to CSL, is it your first visit? Hi there, welcome to CSL, is it your first visit? I think a lot of the times they've got a set script, so they just follow that script without really getting down to what you actually want. The eight strong sales team raked in £6 million last year. Well, you just know that they're uh, wanting to make the money because they've got to get the commission, so they need to make the sale. Everything's priced individually on the arm, so you can order whatever combination suits your room. And 50% of customers we asked spent more money than they'd set out to. And who would like to pay for it, Mr or Mrs? Morning. I've Morning, come mate. to see a day Morning. in the life of a commission-driven sofa salesman. <laughs> this is my chaps. <laughs> and your... Hab. Hi, George. Morning. Hey. Morning. Right, this morning, we're going to play Pass the Bomb. 
Every single one of you know the scripts. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw the bomb, set it ticking, and you've got to say the first line of the meet and greet. Whoever finishes the script and it hasn't exploded, is the winner. Is the winner. So. Hi, welcome to CSR. Is it your first visit? Let me give you some useful information, then I'll leave you to have a good look around. Everything is priced individually. I've never, ever, ever experienced anything like that. Would you have even dreamt that that's how they start their day? If you've been to other stores, you've probably been caught between 12 and 14 weeks for delivery. We only have a limited amount of each model, and they can go at any one time. <laughs> My name's Abraham, and I'll catch up with you later on. One point! Oh, no, 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 no. Imagine the customer ready to come in now. It's like, isn't it? Whoa. Everything is focused on making that sale. Target today is £17,000. Minimum of two deals each to the value of £2,500. Get some music on and then go and find all our customers. Hi, welcome to CSL. Is it your first visit? With targets to meet, the team gets straight to work. This is out as an electric. It goes fully flat. If you want anything measured, check the available. My name's George, just give me a shout. I'm shadowing the company's top salesman, Habib. Do you have a style in mind? It's who is it for? Is it me. for you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, corner suite with um, like a snuggle chair. A snuggle chair? Yeah. Did you like that corner sofa there? It's really comfortable and it's a lovely level too. Habib leads his customer to an enormous suite. The complete set costs nearly £3,000. I mean, this is a fairly statement piece. It's yes, it is. So it's it's is... like a, a special showpiece. Yeah. What size is your room? It's not too big. Square. It's bigger than this square, right. So you'd put this and that in it. Yeah. And that table. And, and then the that. chair. And yeah. even this. You'd put that in as well? Yeah. yeah. I would not advise that size sofa. I mean, they're going to be cramped. They're going to be like that in there with the dog. <laughs> Do come in. Well, wouldn't you? Honestly, when they talked about their space, they said their room was just a bit bigger than where that that big corner sofa is. Don't you think that's too much furniture? In there? No, it's not up to us to be critical of their size because you might offend them. The customers are always right. It's a great excuse, but I'm not buying it. To earn his crust, Habib has to make commission to boost his low basic wage. So how does it work that you could? So you earn get a basic money? salary of sixteen yeah. pounds a day. So when you walk through, pounds. yes. Every sofa you sell, it's about £55. If you sell a footstool, you can earn £10. If you sell a, a table, you can earn another £15. In certain orders, you can earn £100, £200 per sale. So you can sit with a customer for an hour and you can earn £200. So how much did you earn last year? £57. That's all right. Blimey, it's not bad, is it? No, it's not bad at all. And it pays to be one of Jason's best sellers. And they bought me a, a Rolex watch. Jason Tilsley That's bought me that. That's a bit of bling, isn't it? How much is that, it's baby? £4,000. Jason Tilsley paid for it. And it's got a bit of meteorite in it as well. A £16 a day basic is a good incentive to make commission. Hi. Hello. How are you? I want Jason to realise a sale is only good if it works for both salesman and customer. I've had a very interesting morning. I do take my hat off to you in terms of a consistency a staff motivation that is terrific, a team that actually love their job, which is unusual, and I really do respect you for that. But the more that I've watched, it's very much about their sales and them making profit because your basis for your business, minimum wage for anybody coming in the door. It's not a minimum wage, but it's a, it, uh, there's a very low basic salary, yeah. Is that what you mean? Sixteen pound a day is pretty minimum. Isn't yeah, it? but nobody earns that. I know no one earns it because they don't want to earn that. They <laughs> want to earn more than that, so they sell. Quite honestly, I can't hide the way we work from you. It's not all about the sale. We match the way we work to the way the customers want us to work. So it is customer oriented, and that's what the premise is. That's 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 the way we work. If you really, really, really want to put that customer at heart, I think we need to redress that balance. Let me explain to you. First of all, you have a kind of a guarantee where you have lowest price, right? We guarantee that you will not find this same sofa for less in any other store. How many times have you had to pay someone out for that price promise? I, I think uh, two or three times. Generally speaking, the same product or something like it isn't available. Um, so why is that then being honest and really putting me at heart? Or is that a nice little bit of marketing spin? And it's a nice bit of marketing spin. It's, it's good marketing. Okay. So if I took that off and said, don't put those on again, 
how would you feel? This is just not quite honest enough. Come on, Jason. You and I, mate. We're, Come on. That feels good. Yeah. This okay. isn't me. Come on, Jason. Well, the press guarantee's got to go. Go on. But is it you? Is it you? Honestly? No. No, no. it's not. Jason's lads can hardly believe their eyes. No, Lewis Place, no. No. <laughs> no more. No, no it's more. been binned. That's what everybody does, and people We're going to be different. Yeah. Mm, interesting idea. <laughs> <laughs> and when you see how slick they are, you're like, well, they don't need me. No, they don't need me. But the customer does. And that's the difference. And that's what I will fight for completely. I'm quite excited. Right, back to London. Coat on. In the world of sofa retailing, commission is king. Some chains put making a sale before customer needs. At CSL, they claim they're different. Customer comes first. That goes without any shadow of a doubt whatsoever. We know the sofas. We're sofa specialists. We want to provide a good service to the customers. We want the customers to leave the store and smile. Despite their best intentions, I don't think it's working, and I'm going to show them why not. Morning, this is the sales team. I've selected a group of customers and I want to see if the lads can sell them products they actually want. When you pass the bomb, everybody has an answer on that. Yes, this is whatever sprung. Yes, this is the type of leather. But do you really understand the lifestyle of your customers and where that sofa goes to? I want you asking the questions that are important to these people, OK? It's people lifestyles you've got to understand. We've got to give solutions to lifestyles. I think they're going to find this difficult. My name's Hampton. Welcome to CSL. Peter. Nice Hello. to meet you. So what brings you to CSL? Just look in your air for a new sofa. And what do you both do, if you don't mind me asking? We're both hairdressers. Ah, um, normal nine to five every day. But yeah, we... Weekends we, off. Uh, yeah. Do you have a, a large family? Do you have uh, children? Do you do a fair bit of entertaining at home? I've got uh, a, a large family. Now they should be asking about their customer's room size, existing decor and preferred colours. Is that how you'd sit normally at home? Yeah. You'd, yeah. 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 And it's really comfortable. But I think you'd expect every sofa to be comfortable. No, not every way. sofa is comfortable. I think they're finding this difficult and they think I'm stupid and mad. I can feel it. Based on the little they've gleaned, now I want them to pick out a sofa that's right for their customers. Off. <laughs> Off and find that sofa. Only this time, they're going to see the consequences of their decision. We're taking the Swedes and the salesmen back to the shoppers' homes. The silence is wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> First up, George. What do you think, guys? I actually think it fits rather well. It goes very, very well with the TV and the TV cabinet and the side tables. What do you think? I don't like the fatigue. It's too dark for this yeah, room. Yeah. Not could I would have chosen. Actually, one question I was, I was expecting to hear and I didn't was, what's the colour scheme in your room? Oh, no. I would like to defend myself. <laughs> <laughs> in as much as... This is the only colour that we had available to bring to the house uh, today. Well, stop being such an old petulant child, it's not George. What they want. No, it's not what they want! It's not even the sofa they want! Next, it's the turn of top salesman Habib. I did ask the right questions, and I think I've made the right choice. And I think they like it. There you go, Hab. Wow. Well, I think it fits in perfectly. It's very red. I think you lose a lot of space as well because yeah. it's this back bit where yeah. ours is completely flush. Do you mind sort of swinging around? This is someone else's home that you're in. Sorry. Stand up with me, can't you? Did you ask the size of this space? Did he ask the size? No. No. From my point of view, had there been a plan of this, yes. what are you pointing at? Yeah, they came in with a plan. No, they don't have to come in with a plan. It's not up to them. You're the one who's selling. This is for you to be doing that. So I'd sit with the customers, make a plan. Is that what you're saying? I think that would have been really helpful in this. And we would do that. You don't do that. Yes, we do. You don't. Yes, we do. No, you don't. 
Is it part of a regular offer that you actually say to people, we can do a plan of your floor before we look at this sofa, before we actually make a decision? Is that part of your regular offer? No. 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 Do you think the system that you have works perfectly well? Maybe not in all cases. Maybe not in all cases. I understand commission is these guys' bread and butter, but they're finally getting what's wrong. You know, people have, sales people have made some mistakes, whether it be size or colour or style. We haven't chosen the right sofa for the customer. They've never thought in this way, and if you haven't thought in that way, it does take a while to get through. And if I can make this cultural change with them, my God, this has got to be better for the whole of the industry and for the customers. But just when I think we're making progress, I find something that stops me in my tracks. An entire website dedicated to CSL complaints. I cannot believe half of what I'm reading here. Are you frustrated by CSL's poor customer service? Right? Total lack of communication, misleading guarantees. I don't know whether these complaints are valid or not, but I am concerned Jason hasn't told me about the site. There are people on here every single week and nobody's brought this to my attention. And we're meant to have transparency and an honesty. If he's not being like that with me, how can I even try and get that across to the customers? I'm really upset. I'm tackling the underhand tactics used by some of the high street's leading sofa chains. One of your biggest gripes is commission-hungry salesmen who'll flog you anything. They try and get you to buy everything and anything and it just gets pretty suffocating. I felt like I'd walk in, ask for a corner suite and come home with a leather chair. I don't want a leather chair, <laughs> I want a corner suite. When I first filmed Undercover at CSL, there was a big gap between what I asked for... A house is done all right and you're quite florally, yeah. but kind of modern at the same time. Yeah. The halo, which is the one at the front. And what I was shown. They all look kind of blokey leathery. Again. That's in stock in the grey. It's not very feminine though, is it? And again. So you could change it to say black or brown. Look, that's too blokey, that. It's too blokey. I would imagine Simon Cowell sitting on something like this. <laughs> <laughs> At leading chain Harvey's, I asked for something robust. How do these well made and sturdy? They're very sturdy. Try to lift it, you see. <laughs> oh, this is lighter. Is it? It's lighter than that one. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you're shopping for a sofa, here's what you should do. Pushy salesman will tell you this sofa will change your life. Don't listen to everything they have to say. You need to know what you want the sofa for, so be prepared. Go in with a list of must-haves. And remember, the number one rule, do not feel pressurised into buying. Even if it means leaving the shop, take your time, call off, think about it, and then return. Three weeks ago, I started working with CSL to improve their customer service. But I've just discovered a website dedicated to alleged CSL complaints. I can't believe Boss Jason didn't tell me about this. Can you imagine if I launched their shop with my new customer service, putting the customer at heart, and actually all the time they hadn't told me this, and I find this out afterwards? How horrible would that be? I've come to hear Jason's explanation. Hello? 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 Hi! How Hi. are you doing? You all right? I, um, I found this website called CSL Complaints, and there's a whole website. Did you know this? Yeah, I do know, yeah. And then I put in all competitor ones. I put in ones for Harvey's, I put in one for DFS, I put in ones for... Yeah, I, And they haven't got one. You've got the, the we're, worst. We're really unlucky with it. I, 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 I've seen the site, and I've seen the comments on it. If you go through the contents on it, and if you go through our testimonials, it is not the experience of our customers. Uh, look, I, I'm not going to sweep it under the carpet, Jason. I, I'd rather you didn't sweep it under the no, carpet. No, but why I, I'll be 
be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I, what do I do about it? The problem is they've got their own agenda, but there's not that many of them. There's some customers who who have seen the site and feel that it's a way to communicate. Some some people don't even speak to us and go on the site. It's but just did you respond to this, Julie, on the 17th of November about the leather finish and the fact that the be the, the the wood wasn't really um, hardwood as as you said? No, I won't respond through the site, and I won't respond to a mechanism that's not a way of communicating with us. But why didn't someone say, Mary, there's a site here that really is a problem? You know, Trust me when that... I say that, that, that this situation is, is a very small number of people. We, we've tried to help all of them, and sometimes you, you get to an impasse where they're not happy with any other course of action. So why don't we go back and say that you will guarantee to answer these personally because we at CSL genuinely believe what we're saying, then let's, let's call them in. Yeah. It was a really shaky, shaky, shaky feeling. But I am going to go onto the, that internet site and, and want to meet these people and, and ask them to come in because I have to still make sure that this customer is being looked after and they are not having the wall pulled over their eyes because that's the problem with this business in general. Not CSL, but the whole genre of furniture salesmen that sell you anything. I'm pleased Jason's agreed to meet one of the site's complainers to discuss his case. Hi, Neil. Hi, Jason Tilsey, who owns CSO Neil. Nice to meet you, just the man. Basically, I've been run a, a merry circle by your customer services department over okay. the last month. 25-year-old Neil Warwick has brought his sofa with him. It cost him nearly £1,300, but with finance, he'll pay a total of £3,000. Basically, about a month ago, that metal rod that sits in there somewhere came out through the lever there, where right. it's been repaired okay. by yourselves. It stabbed my wife in the leg and it ripped a pair of my jeans when it came through. Right. There was a metal rod coming out around the back of the cushion in the same it? place. We've had it for three years. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you. It shouldn't have come out. But right. go on, tell right. us what we did next. It, you came out and collected the sofa. It came back to me two weeks after and basically it looked like, you know the pink chewing gum, the Hubba Bubba stuff? Right. It looked like basically they'd just gone. So you weren't happy with the repair? And slapped it in. And the, the holes where the rods were on that side were still in the sofa and that one was actually still sticking out. That shouldn't have happened, and I agree totally. And they've, they've, we're, we're repairing it under warranty, so that that's you know normal. Yeah. Next, uh, you told me that uh, if you couldn't repair the sofa to 100%, then you would let me choose another sofa from your store, right, to the same value. Me and my wife actually spent a full afternoon in the CSL store at Bolton looking for a sofa, and then they brought up, well, right. you're going to have to pay us 850 quid. I'm still paying finance on this for another two years. Right. I haven't got 850 quid to just shell out. How long should this have lasted sofa? for, Jason? The honesty, how long should that sofa have lasted that, that, for? That sofa, in, in my opinion, it should last indefinitely, but you've had three years' use. To get a brand new sofa after three years that you've paid £3,000 for, yeah. for £850, I think they're giving you options. I'm going to have five minutes with Jason. I'll be back. Okay. All right. I'll be back. Jason hasn't had a chance to look into the facts, but I want to get this sorted. I'm hearing someone who's frustrated, doesn't have a great deal of money probably, and in that instance, my gut feel would be, I am so sorry. Because of the time he's taken, Jason, to ring, go back, take it out, come in, follow through with customer service, is money. But a guarantee is not a refund policy. I can't turn around to every single customer who's unhappy with a sofa three, three or four years down the line. He's upset. I, and I want to solve that. Okay. I'm not saying okay. that I'll give him a new sofa for free. Right. I will leave him happy. Jason investigates the case. On bringing the furniture back, it's not in the state we would expect it to be after three and a half years. I mean, incredibly heavily used. We offered to totally recondition the furniture for him. 17 hours of professional repair. But if a replacement is what he wants, I'm willing to change the offer to Mr. Walworth. Neil accepts the revised offer, and I'm very satisfied that Jason has given good customer service. But I'm about to pitch him a big idea which could revolutionise customer service across his whole chain. Blimey, I'm in Southport. 
Hi, Jason. Hi, Mary. How are you wow, doing? Wow, look at this little place, huh? Hi, <laughs> nice to meet you. His girlfriend, Hi. Steph, joins us. I think that the, the, the winners who will be on our high street tomorrow are the ones who bring a real shopping experience to people, that it's it's a joy to be in this shop. You know, yeah. it's actually fun to be here. It's wonderful. My idea puts shoppers' needs first. I love the idea of a style station, or a sofa station, I've called it. This becomes the equivalent of Apple's Genius Bar, where your customers can come in and they go, I'm looking for a sofa, but I don't know whether that one's going to fit. I'm not sure about the colour coordinations. And you have a team that actually advises them. Okay. What they come away with is, I know that that dimension sits in my room and it's going to fit. And I want to transform the shop floor so shoppers are inspired. Wouldn't it be great if we did the room sets according to these lifestyles? We put in real touches. So when they sit in it, you we sit and think, oh, this does. This feels like my life. I think that's a fantastic idea, mm. especially if it's free. Mm. Um, no obligation. It's not service. free to you, though. We're looking about 30 grand for installing that. Yeah. And I've got one that final request. I want you to write genuinely from your heart real truths that you will give to this customer. What I'm going to call Jason's word. I think your word from your heart will be more powerful than these kind of price promises. And if you can't give it, don't write it. You don't need to worry. We're, we're going to do it because I think I believe in it and I've, it's the retailer that I want to be okay. and I want to look like. Okay. <laughs> right, we're on it. For Jason to action my plans across the chain will cost over half a million pounds. He's got to now put his money where his mouth is. I do like his energy. The creative stuff that I'm showing him to do, he loves, but I want to make sure that it's always about putting that customer at heart. A few days later at Rotherham, Jason's steaming ahead with the redesign. It's absolutely awesome. It's fully 21st century wow factor. But not everyone's convinced. Some people just want to come in and buy a sofa. They're not bothered about inspiration stations, mood boards. They're not bothered. They just want to come in, see a sofa. You give them a few features and benefits and they want to buy it. They're not bothered about inspiration stations. I want to put a good example out there for customers so that we just raise the whole benchmark of retailing in this country for consumers. That's my goal. And if I don't get that, I feel really saddened, really saddened. And just that I've come up here and actually not achieved very much. I'm taking on the sofa superstores and their lousy customer service. I've persuaded CSL to adopt my idea, which puts you, the customer, first. I want a new way of selling furniture. And I want these guys to be the first to do this, to break through what has really been actually shambolic <laughs> ways of retailing. Morning. Morning! Today, I've come to see my plans put into practice. Oh, I can see an inspiration station up there. Nice. Here, shoppers can try out the sofas in mock-ups of their own rooms. We drop a sofa into the shop, yeah. we can see the swatches for that sofa. And then once you've created a mood board, simply press print. And now the store's packed with room sets designed to inspire the customer and make shopping a joy. I absolutely love this. Honestly, this is the first time I've been tempted to buy one of your sofas. This concept is just what the sales team needs. A few weeks ago, persuading them to put customers first seemed like an impossible challenge. When they talked about their space, don't you think that's too much furniture? No. It's not up to us to be critical of their size because you might offend them. I actually think it fits rather well. No, it's not what they want. It's not even the sofa they want. They don't have to come in with a plan. It's not up to them. Would we'll do that. You don't do that. Yes, we do. You don't. Yes, we do. No, you don't. Now they're finally focused on customer needs and lifestyles. My brief, professional couple, late 20, early 30s. Very 21st century I wanted to get. You've got very 21st century. Do you all like this? I think it's going to be great. It's good that 
we're paying an interest in what the customer wants, whereas before we were just selling sofas. Do you actually believe that? Because that really yeah. means a lot to me that you said that. Aww. I like that. <laughs> that really makes me feel happy. Finally, has Jason moved on from the kind of misleading price promotions used across the industry? I wanted you to open these because it's like a little present for you. Well, I will open New price them. cards. Always our best price. No. This item was not 999. It was never 749. Was and is our best price guaranteed. Implementing this at this time of year, that is, is a huge, huge uh, risk. We're going into a Christmas sale period and we're not going to reduce for a sale. We're not going to market any reduction in the price. What are you saying? You're not going to do a Boxing Day sale? We're not going to do a Boxing Day sale. What we're going to do is commit to the fact that we are offering the best price yes. permanently. That, customers, wherever you are listening to this, this is what we are going to stop. This item was never more than it's got on the ticket. It's worth that because we believe that's good value. That's that a really important value. thing. A massive step to say we will not do that Boxing Dale sale. It's a massive step. That's really going against the grain. They're taking the messages down, 50% off, gone. I love that. That really does excite me. There's never been a better time to put this new concept to the test. How would you like to pay your deposit on your card? Compared to some of the other French places, I think they've got it bang on, you know, with the ornaments and the pictures and the curtains. We've seen a few things in here that we'd like to add to our <laughs> Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time of year, you should be sale time, so they should have a sale lot. I'm going to go over there to DFS and buy one, because we've got a sale on at the minute. I don't think whether the CSL have done a sale or not is really that important to us. A few weeks later, I'm back to tell the team what their customers thought. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! So we asked many, many people who have been shopping with you in the last three weeks what they thought. Did the staff ask about your home? 96% said yes. The last time was 57%, which is a massive increase. Have you left with ideas for your home and inspired? 100% said yes. Oh, yeah. That is pretty phenomenal. Now, the big question is, what the hell was the bank holiday? sales like right, are you ready um it started off not as busy as last year we grew throughout the week of boxing day and resulted on uh, the bank holiday after new year with uh, a, around a 30 percent increase on our best day ever stop it we did Beautiful. <laughs> now I know what this lying down bit's off. Jason, we've always wanted to. Isn't that how? This is that unexpected. Is, <laughs> isn't that phenomenal? Like, come on, that is phenomenal. I honestly, over the moon, I've gone a bit over the top. That's phenomenal, right? Fantastic, yeah. And the good news doesn't end there. What's the plans? Are we going to roll this out, Jason? Everything that we've done and everything that you've come up with and, uh, and, and we've worked on is being rolled out in every CSR store moving forward. We'll be who I want to be rather yeah. than who, yeah. um, who we think we have to be. Nice to meet you all guys. Good luck. Good luck. Bye for now. I'm really pleased because in a very short space of time it's worked. And I just put a call out to all you other sofa specialists. Deliver that. Deliver that. That's what you should be giving to the customer today. And that's what's called great customer service, not what we've had to put up with for years. But as my undercover filming showed, many of the other chains still have a long way to go. Me and some of you shoppers are about to take a stand. Good customer service in sofa showrooms should be them understanding what the end use of the sofa is going to be for. So let's get in there and show them. Sorry? What are we doing? You haven't had permission to be in here to do, to do something. You're not, you're not a customer. We're just catching up on each other's busy week. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Camera off, please. What's the sofa that's £10? I'd like to see that one. Oh, it's not. 
It's not £10 for sale, it's £10 a month. Oh, oh, it's not. Is it that time of night already? I told the sofa giants what I thought of their customer service. SCS and Furniture Village both denied that their staff would have encouraged fraud. SCS say they do not believe our filming shows that they failed to listen to the customer. Furniture Village told me that improving customer service is at the core of all they do, that mystery shoppers and staff training are a key aspect, and they even give you freshly baked cookies. Next week, I'm tackling phone shops. Tell me about your experience. Go to channel 4.com forward slash secret shopper.